While there's no official rulebook for Hell's Kitchen, there's definitely an obvious format and a format that I believe the producers originally wanted to stick to throughout the entire franchise. Each episode would involve a reward challenge and dinner service, with one team winning service, and the losing team would have one person nominate two chefs for elimination. However, throughout the 21 season history of Hell's Kitchen, Ramsay has broken the OG rules many times to either outsmart the contestants or simply make for a good TV moment. What's going on guys, I'm Flynn Masters, and today, we'll be looking at the history of Ramsay breaking the rules of Hell's Kitchen. Before we begin, please be sure to hit that subscribe and like button for more fun HK content like this. And with all that said, let's take a look back at all the times Ramsay made Hell's Kitchen his own show. Bloody hell, here I go again. The first instance of Ramsay breaking the rules came in season 2, when he overruled the original nominations and eliminated Gabe. After a terrible night, the blue team were named losers, with Giacomo and Tom being Garrett's two choices for elimination. But Ramsay called out Gabe to join them, and then proceeded to eliminate him. So Ramsay broke two rules here, as not only did he call out his own nominee for elimination, but he eliminated someone who was not originally nominated. Man, I can only imagine how pissed off this made Chris from season 1. Sorry Garrett, I'd like to talk to one more individual. Gabe. Step forward. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is Gabe. Take off your jacket and get out of Hell's Kitchen. Thank you. But at least for Gabe, he did get the chance to plead his case, which can't be said about Melissa the following season, as for the first time ever, Ramsay eliminated a chef without giving them a chance to say why they deserve to stay in Hell's Kitchen. Blue team. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Have you made your decision? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Was it difficult? Yes, chef. Cut the crap with you, yeah? Melissa. Yes, chef. Step forward. Take your jacket off and get out of Hell's Kitchen. You, madam, have had more chances than anybody. Good night. And then the following season, Ramsay would send Roseanne home after initially putting her back in line, indicating she was safe. A very odd occurrence, and still the only time this has ever happened in the show's history. I'm 33 years old, and I have the stamina and energy of a teenager, and I do not give up. Okay, Roseanne, back in line. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Roseanne. Go back to your daughter. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. It's been a pleasure and an honor. In the last case of odd elimination occurrences, sometimes, Ramsay doesn't even ask for any nominees, as everyone is on the chopping block, and he lets the chefs personally nominate one of their own. The first instance of this happened in Season 8, which to be fair made a lot of sense, as this was a great segue to crown the Black Jackets. But then in Season 15, after a terrible service at the Final 9, Ramsay was so fed up that he simply wanted an explanation for this awful service instead of the usual two nominees. Which again, essentially meant that everyone was on the chopping block to be eliminated that night. I would love to see this rule break happen again, as tensions and paranoia are a max during these ceremonies. And our execution was at a 5. It should have been at a 12. Who's responsible for that? That was Chad Chef. But, you know, Ariel definitely didn't help the situation. I was told that I have to specifically ask for help. Chef, I said that because Jared was not man enough to say that he needs help with something because he waited two hours later after dinner served, after he got kicked out for sending out raw chicken to then tell me he needed help. Once Frank's hands are wiped clean of something, that's it. But when you accept responsibility of something, you own that now. We, we're all- If you, I am talking. But going back to season two now, Ramsey would break his first dinner service rule in episode four when he named both teams losers. Again, there were many times in season one where Ramsey could have named both teams as losers, but he always found some way to name a winning team, which again, was the OG format. However, after another four terrible services to begin season two, Ramsey finally had enough and declared no winning team, a now regular staple in Hell's Kitchen. Get back in your doors. And hello, from the blue team, nominate someone that's going tonight, and from the red team, come back with someone that's leaving. Now get out! Out! Chef Ramsay has told each team to come to a consensus and nominate one of their chefs to go home. No one is safe. While it's now common for teams to be joint dinner service losers, only one time has this ever happened during a reward challenge, with that instance coming during the final seven of season 10. The funny thing about this epic challenge failure is that this was a relay race with the dishes coming straight from the HK menu, with that being a risotto, cod, and rack of lamb. Now one could say with this being a relay race, the communication was off, but these chefs have been working together for some time now, as this was literally the final round before the black jackets. With both teams messing up all three dishes, Ramsay simply couldn't declare a winner, and thus, an entire tour of Malibu in a helicopter was canceled. Canceled. Man, 
Production had to be pissed at this outcome and missing out on some epic shots of Malibu. Oh. Wow. Oh. Yeah, we're f Red team. I sliced the lamb, Chef. I apologize. You sliced the lamb or you chewed the lamb? Oh. Wow. I am seriously disappointed. For the first time ever, I, Gordon Ramsay, cannot pick a winner. But we've also seen Ramsay go the other way and have joint winners. The first occurrence of this came after the fifth dinner service of season four, where for the first time ever, Ramsay decided not to eliminate anyone after a good service. Now, to be fair, this was a lot easier to do since Vanessa left the competition earlier that day, with a similar instance happening in season six, as Lovey and Tania were spared after Joseph's quit. It wasn't until the fourth episode of season seven that we saw no chefs get eliminated the entire episode, as Artem and Scott swapped teams instead, which while a staple now, these non-elimination episodes were very rare in old school seasons, with many fans likely never believe in this would ever happen with how bad the talent was in the early seasons. Listen to me. You are in the blue team. You get in the red team. Sure. Now, after our best service yet, I decided to give Autumn and Scott another chance. But they better excel or they'll both be gone. Rob, give me a jacket, big boy. Because it's filthy dirty, this one is a clean one. Get it on. Get back in line. No, no, back in line. Hey, relax. It was a good service. Why should anyone go home? <laughs> you can't do that to a fat guy, chef. It was a great service. Oh, my God. We've also seen joint reward winners as well, as in season 12, Scott and Jason were both named winners, although that was understandable since it was literally a tie divided amongst USC football fans. And then in season 18, Ariel and Mia both identified the same ingredients in the Taste Did Not Make It challenge, and since they cooked their dishes to perfection as well, they both got to enjoy reward. I can only imagine how many past chefs who just missed out on reward got pissed off watching Ramsey crown joint winners. The winner of the Taste It Now Make It challenge both of you, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> there was shallots in the reduction. Oh, there was, okay. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. However, there was paprika. Okay. And you got the shallots in the holidays. Uh, brilliant, let me tell you. It's delicious. Thank you, Chef. The point goes to John. Great job. Thank well you. done. Thank you. Good job, Johnny. Can't we both get a point? You're killing me here, Chef Ramsey. Good job, Chef. Sticking with reward challenges, at the final seven of season 12, Joy wouldn't finish her dish in time, as she was still plating after Ramsay said time was up. As per the rules, Joy shouldn't have been allowed to present her dish for not finishing in time, or at the very least, had to present it the way it was. But for some reason, Ramsay gave the chefs 10 more seconds to plate their dish, and with this extra time, Joy would please the judges, winning the red team reward over blue. Four, three, two, one, and plate up, guys. Joy, everybody had 30 minutes, you're still plating. It doesn't matter. It's not even done. What do you mean it doesn't matter? Because it's not even done. It's not done. The meat isn't even done. So whose fault was that then? Joy. I'm, just, I'm not happy with my dish at all. I'm like, none of it. I'm just not happy. I'm not pleased with myself. You've got to keep it together. Can all of you take 10 you seconds and just polish your plates? With an average score of $21 or more, she can win it for the red team. I would say about $25, I would say. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Well done. Oh, Are you yeah. kidding me? <laughs> Going back to season three now, we would get the first true epic rule breaking moment from Ramsey as he eliminated a chef in the middle of service as opposed to eliminating them via nomination ceremony with that being Josh. And yeah, out of all the rule breaks in this video, I think we can all agree that this is Ramsey's greatest decision as dinner service eliminations have resulted in some of Hell's Kitchen's most iconic moments. You screwed me and you're useless. Sorry, chef. Yeah, do me a favor. Yes, chef. Take that off and get the hell out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out! Let me tell you what you've touched. Yeah? Yes, yeah, sir. You screwed. Apron off, jacket off, and f off out of there. You're done. Get out! Take your jacket off and f off! Chef, don't say that, please! Chef, please don't say that! In a combination of dinner service eliminations and not giving the chef a chance to plead their case, we've also seen Ramsay hold his own nomination ceremony as opposed to letting the chefs deliberate back in the dorms. As in season 6 and two times in season 13, Ramsay had elimination take place right after the service as he felt there was no need for a nomination ceremony with how obvious it would be. I'm going to be really honest now. I don't want any nominations. I don't want to prolong your agony. Come here, madam. 
Take off your jacket and leave House Kitchen. Yes, sir. Who we gonna nominate? Who? We know Frank, of course, but everybody else is doing good. Why be punished for what he did wrong? Come on, Chef Ramsey. We can't do that. Wait. Blue team, red team, come back. Say goodbye to Frank. Time has come. Keep your head up, man. I love you, man. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good luck. But you're not ready to be my next head chef. OK? I want you to keep your jacket. Yeah, that's what's up, man. <laughs> We finish off with arguably Ramsay's most controversial rule break, as in season 5, for the first time ever, a chef was eliminated from the winning team. I mean, we're all told growing up that winning, and most importantly, not losing is the main goal. But when it comes to Hell's Kitchen, Ramsay doesn't care about social norms, as he'll have no problem eliminating someone from the winning team that he feels was the worst chef that night, or in general has no shot of winning compared to the chefs on the losing team. And Carol was a combination of this, as she had a disastrous night at the final 7, and was on a general downfall, and thus, Ramsay shocked everyone with her winning team blind side. I have made a decision to send home the person I feel personally has given up. Carol. Jacket off and you're leaving House Kitchen. You two back in line. You didn't even make a comeback. After the Dauphin was and the potatoes were screwed, you gave up. Thank you. Good night. Thank you guys so much for watching this video of the history of Ramsey breaking rules in Hell's Kitchen. Let me know in the comments what your favorite rule break from Ramsey is. And of course, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button to support the channel. With all that said, take care everyone, and I'll see you next time. Get out of there.